you know, market capacity or whatever is freaking 200,000 people. And, and you know what, in order to do that, our affiliates on warrior plus or JV zoo or whatnot, you know, they all have lists where they've promoted something for $10 or $20 or something like that. And so then now they're going to dictate our price point. Now we might want to sell it for $10 because we're going to be using that affiliate base. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's all those types of decisions that we make, we put our heads together and, uh, you know, we build, we, we partner together, basically put to put the offer together and then we're good to go. You know what I mean? And then when it's, you know, it, to that, that point of like what you're looking for, like if you're looking for, total domination of the internet then it's more expensive you know it takes up more time more of my time takes up more of your time or whatnot but if you're looking to do one a month like one offer or one launch a month then it's it's um you know it might not be the forty five hundred dollar product right that might only happen once a year but you know that that model is um is something that i've done myself you know with uh you know, because I'm a writer, I write books very quickly. So that's an example. Sometimes I write a book over a weekend, and then you know your book is selling on ClickBank. The next one has to get approved. Huh? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's that's really awesome. You know, because there there's so many people that that, that need some help and need some adjustment in their mindset, so we can use really like. Small packages of people can can get introduced to it. That's uh, an idea I really like because many people they want to progress, but they don't know exactly how, or they're using the the wrong approach. So um, there's I'm, I'm I'm really excited to do like small products or even big products. So so for me it's all the way up. So we can really um, reach and help people. That's uh, like one of my of my um, most intentions that they get some really good stuff because there's too much rubbish out there. And I, I really want to support them with my knowledge because um, I have some like different angles. I see the topic in personal dev development in meditation or spirituality. So, um, and I can kind of make it like an, in a cool way because I was in the Swiss army. I was a Swiss army officer. Um, I, really? I was, yeah, I w even was in um, K4. So in the, um, I had like some, really experienced in leading people um, with some guns around. So I have like this yeah. area. <laughs> yeah. Jamie here guns. So what? <laughs> you get that answer. <laughs> it's cool, man. <clears throat> yeah. And then there's this like the, I'm also, as, um, uh, I'm, uh, um, I have a master in science. I studied food science here in really? the, yeah, in the ETH. Okay. And then I got into meditation. And I also, do, so, so it's, it's quite a, I, there's um, many possibilities to make like quite, quite a cool story. It's just not like a meditation guy sitting there, having a good time. It's like, kick your ass <laughs> to meditation. So it's, um, I think you, if I, I, I saw some of your products and I was like, okay, this guy can make some really cool story about it. <laughs> And I hope you saw, I, I hope you saw the whole, like, from A to B. I have this video on YouTube that's really informative. I type in Jamie Lewis documentary. If you got, like, a good 90 minutes, you should sit down and watch that because it goes from A to B. It's just, like, the entire story. It worked out. Great video. It was actually, like, a blog post I did. And then I um, read it on a I webinar. Yeah, I, I saw it. I, I read your blog post. Um, about your story it was quite impressive right. just yeah i think it's very very educational too you know i mean there's yeah just to save you guys a lot of time uh, i had to learn a lot of stuff myself i wasn't someone who had like, the uh you know i never got so to speak by my new industry uh, i kind of self-educated for and uh, you know, I know what to do. I know I know not to make ebook two hundred dollars if if you don't have um, if it's not to that level of you know. There's certain aspects and social chemistry that's involved. Like if, if you know the price point is dictated by what the product actually is versus the population, all that stuff. You know what I mean? So I, yeah, kind of the hard way or whatnot, but. 
And I, I mean, what, what, what's exactly also the cool, the cool part about this uh, <clears throat> team up between uh, Jamie and me is um, probably you, <coughs> everyone who is watching this, and um, a so-called high-ticket offer. Uh, you don't even have, uh, you don't, not, not just have a Jamie as product designer, marketer, uh, cross-promo promoter, and he has uh, 40, 40 years of knowledge, you also have my whole team in the call backend with what we offer. Um, that's awesome. Right? So <clears throat> we don't talk about we don't just talk about this uh, nine dollar, seventeen dollar, thirty seven, ninety seven, or even five hundred dollar upsell products in the backend. Uh, I guess I talk for us both, uh, Jamie. If we say we can handle twenty, thirty, forty, sixty, even one hundred thousand dollar products in the backend. If you, uh, let's say, Karim, uh, if you want to sell some personal coaching stuff for your uh, meditation stuff, right? So actually, we are commission-based salespeople, <coughs> as affiliates with, or, or salespeople are. And that's, that's the other part of this cool stuff. So I have no idea what you can do with a $47 product, but if someone likes to team up with us in, let's say, the hard way, you don't even have the distributors or, or cross promotions from Jamie. You have you have also me and my team as closing team on the phone to to close high ticket sales as long as you can handle what we close, right? And you can pay us, and that's just that's just awesome, right? I mean, yeah, that that's what we offer, right? That's that's what we offer, and that, that's I guess uh, a, an offer the world never seen before, right? I, Maybe I, I'm not I'm wrong with that, but a team up with Jamie and me, uh, I don't guess that you will find something else in the world at the moment like we offer here. Right? And <clears throat> actually, yeah. yeah. And actually, uh, Jamie and, and me had talked about, <clears throat> or let's say, let's start from the from the beginning. We 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 really like to work with people for one year. I, I guess for me and for Jamie, that's. That's a, a way we can work with you to, to produce so several products. I guess we can handle six. It depends on the offer. Our clients will handle that, right? Um, if you have four months to produce a video, it will go longer, but I do that is clear, right? And so what, what would we do to offer people who do not have this amount of money to work a year with us? And again, um, that's what I recommend to work one year with us, or even two or three. Right? But even Jamie and I just designed an offer, which you can explain probably, Jamie, um, for let's say a smaller budget. Right? So maybe you can explain, Jamie. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, what is usually like the the reason why why there are so many people who have so many ideas. They have so many um products that that they've they've written or they've recorded and they're not published mm. you know there's a reason why artists and musicians always pursue record deals you know or they always pr pursue an agent or a manager or a producer to put them on it's it's always the same story and you know there's a lot of people nowadays um that uh you know have you know, have so much, they're, they're almost there. And, but when it comes to revenue and when it comes to their numbers, you know, I'd ask the question, I'd say, what is, well, what's your revenue and what's your lead intake? How many leads are you getting a day? There's the answer is uh, the same. A lot of the time, you know, it'll be zero, zero leads. So they will have how much revenue zero revenue. Now there might've been, you know, um, Oh, I did do well last year. I, you know, uh, made $600 or something. Right. I'd say, how, how did you do that? And it was like a, a fluke or something. Well, I bought $300 worth of traffic and I made $600. I said, well, why didn't you do it again? I'd say, well, because the, the, the traffic, I, I tried doing it again and it didn't work. And then that person, you know, they had given up. You know, um, you know where, I come from the, uh, the school of, of creating a product, putting it on ClickBank, getting it approved to ClickBank, and then doing going into a stage which I like to call, you know, of course, conversion testing. So where I'll send a little bit 
pay-per-click traffic at the offer and I'll split test and get, and get the, the machine working very, very well. So after I'm done with that split testing stage, I, I, contact I contact affiliates even if I don't have a list yet. I contact enough of them so that maybe 10% of the affiliates I contact, like 30 or 40, right? 10% of them promote my product first. Now what that does is now I have a list. So with the other affiliates that I contact, I can contact them now and say, hey, I'll promote you, you promote me. And it's a barter system and it doesn't cost any money. And then you get gravity on ClickBank. You know, as many, if you have, if you get sales from like four affiliates, you're going to have gravity, four gravity. It'll say gravity four. And it'll also, it'll also, the algorithm will boost you up in the, in the marketplace based on the amount of sales you're getting too. So, I mean, you could have just like two affiliates, but you could beat a guy with four affiliates if you have more sales volume than that guy. So exactly. that's the way I would do it. And then, of course, you know, you use other IDs. You know, you use different – it's a little secret. Don't tell anyone. But you use separate click IDs. So you get, you know, 100 gravity or, so, you know, your number one, like, in two days or something like that. There's all these little secrets. And, stuff. and so now here's the kicker. When people are clicking on your Buy It Now button, they're also opting into your list. So you're getting all these people on the ClickBank Marketplace promoting you and all these people are opting in. And you didn't spend a cent – well, yeah, you spent you spent fifty bucks on ClickBank, you know what I mean? But here's the deal: like I say these things in videos all the time. Now, why does why are people still not doing it? It's because it's it's I guess I make it look easier, or whatnot, right? Because I've done it for so long, and so that's sometimes what people need is like they need to see it all in front of them, built for them. Because even if I was to show, you know, which I do again in videos all on YouTube, I show, you know, here's my thank you page. Here's the JV page. Here's the offer page. Here's the squeeze page. Here's the members area. Right. But that's just, it's too complicated for people or whatnot. People need it done. They need like the original template built for them in their niche first, like as training wheels. It's like a preparation stage. Like, you know, it's kind of like when you buy a car, and, and you can't just freaking go nuts with it at first. You have to break it in. You have to break it in or you could hurt the engine or whatnot. It's kind of like that. Like, or it's like cooking, right? Like if you turn the temperature on the oven too hot, then the bread will be burned on the top. And then inside it's all still gooey and stuff. You know what I mean? So it's, got, it's, it's, like, it's like a recipe. And we got to follow the recipe to the T. And then, you know, boom, 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 correct stages, stage by stage. And then we get to the cross promo part, and that's something that I was going to do is throw in that cross promo uh, resource that I was talking about, you know, that, that whole stage of the process where we actually not just give you the traffic strategy, which I originally offered, but I actually do it with you, and I actually find the affiliates for you, and I send out the emails and everything. I'm recruiting affiliates for you. And so we're going to throw that in, and it's actually um, – you know, it's no, it's no sweat over here. It's all good. We've got a team. We, we handle um, about 12 to 20 projects a week. I mean, I'm sorry, a month. Um, every month, that's pretty much our quota. We do, you know, a, a, we stop it at 20 a month. Like, we never do many any more than 20 because we have live threads in the Gmail. And it typically takes about two to three months um, just with someone who's who's never done it before because there's a lot of questions there might be a lot of revisions there might be a lot of getting to know exactly what business model our clients gonna be uh, comfortable doing and so it's usually typically two to three months for the initial uh, building of the offer and then after that offer is built and everything's you know business model is correct everything is on point we're all in agreement on what we want then we jump into the cross promo uh, process where I'm actually going to send out the, the emails and we're going to actually manage it all. And uh, we'll be working with my assistant and my copy, my two copywriters, my graphical artist, and uh, you know, all in total communication and building an actual offer and putting it all together. Wow, it's awesome. It's um, like you said, <clears throat> uh, I have the same, let's say, problems here. 
uh, with if I teach people in sales, right? if I teach people in uh, closing deals on the phone or even just communicate or even just um, dial a fucking number. Right? Uh, a lot of people are always told me, hey, Mark, can you, can you please do it in front of me? And Jeff is here. He saw it. I, I guess everyone here uh, saw it. If I pick up the phone, I can call. I can, I can, I will do a list of 100 people faster than the Tasmanian devil, and I will find this one guy who will buy stuff. And if I talk with them in two or five minutes, the deal, most of them is closed. And you have to train this, and you have, you have as, you, as you said, you have, to, you have to sit in this car and you have to drive carefully. You have to start the engine and you have to, to, to have a look how this, this, this vehicle is moving, right? And as soon as you realize how it works, you can do it and you can handle it and you can model it for yourself. And what we here offer is, is, is a team up with, with a high class sales team and a high class marketing team who will support you in any questions, in any way on, on your journey from A to sale, right? And <clears throat> as soon as you have this, this uh, let's say, um, product or even if you can talk all day every day with me with Jamie you will get in contact with the whole team with, with everything you you will see so many golden nuggets you will never ever learn by yourself you will never ever find out how to get this uh, joint venture partners how to get the right affiliates because let me make you an example I have a few products in the German area on a, let's say, marketplace, and I have over 1,200 affiliates, which every one of them do exactly nothing. Right? And the deal is how to find people who actually sell your stuff. Right? No way. Oh, man. I don't understand. Jamie come back soon, right? He lost connection. Um, the, problem, the problem is, if you want to do the whole construct by yourself, which means um, design a product, make a table of content from the product, um, which kind of member area, what, what should you say on the sales page, um, what, whatever you should do, it's a shit ton of work. It's, it's a shit ton of low work. I can tell it by myself. I have over 20 years of experience, Jamie over 14 years of experience. <clears throat> And we put all this stuff together to move you forward as fast as possible. And as Jamie said, uh, we are here in the realistic game. So you can come to us and we will say, hey, in two weeks, you will make a million dollars. That's absolutely bullshit. It will never work. It will never happen. Uh, not with, with a newbie, right? We can do it. But with a newbie, it's, not, it's impossible. And that's actually not the deal. The deal we want to offer is, Make, make you a cool offer with the product, the sales page, with, with everything. We will build you a, a whole online business, inclusive business model, put it into the marketplace. Jamie will have a look around uh, to get uh, your, your distributors, to get cross promos. And the deal here is the whole system we put in this engine, we can push a button and it will work. Right? It will work. But the actual stuff behind should be that you will be teached in this time frame from three months or one year that you realized how this shit is working so you can duplicate it with whatever you will do. And to be realistic again, if we make this stuff one time with you, you probably just sit in this race car or I have no idea who of you guys are, uh, or went to skydiving. If you, if you uh, jump out on an airplane the first time, you will realize nothing. You will, you will come out, you will, you will step on the ground after eight minutes and you realize nothing, right? nothing. The second time it will be easier and after let's say 20 times, I have over 2000 jumps. <clears throat> so let's say after 20 or 30 times, you start to realize all the stuff around you. And that's why I highly recommend to work at least one year with us because we can we can easily if you if you have <clears throat> if you have the skills if you have stuff to work if you have stuff to create or even you have stuff you just can translate to to English market 
we can easily push uh, six products in this year on the marketplace, right? And if, if you have six products in the marketplace and you will, I guess, you have to invest one hour per day per week, uh, one hour per day, every day for, let's say, one year, after one year, you will be a hero of this place. Right? You know how it works. You know how to get shit done. And that's exactly what we want, what we want to do, right? So let me get Jamie back again. Do you guys have any questions? Probably. Anyone here with any questions? Just raise your arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a question about, um, you know, I, I have like a, a lot of knowledge. My English is not the best. So when I start writing, um, I'm pretty sure it's understandable, understandable what I want. But, um, but there's, it needs somebody who makes it pretty. <laughs> why, so, um, why, why do you think that? Have you ever got some feedback about your English that is bad or that, that some people did not understand you? When I talk, it's less a problem and I write even more because I'm just missing words. That's like my... Uh, that's okay, the, that's, yeah. not, that's not really a problem because uh, in our offer, we have a whole team who made some sales letters and text letters and copywriters. As Jamie uh, said um, before, uh, this team is, is, is built for copywriters. So the deal should be <coughs> not to make text stuff. The deal should be to make videos. And why I say uh, probably Jamie will, will say, no, we will make text and audio and video, whatever. But in my opinion, I can't write English as well. So, but Jamie, well, here we go again. If, you, if uh, Akari, uh, can you hear us, Jamie? You look like a frozen yogurt. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm excited. Very excited. <laughs> okay, listen. Nice. Yeah, it looks like a frozen margarita, bro. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> Karim asked, ask, uh, what if he is his English? He, he has no ask, uh, ask, ask himself, Karim. Yeah. So, so one of my concerns is like if I, if I have to write stuff i'm not um it, it will be with with a lot of mistakes because i'm not really good in writing english so when i know i can do video i know i can do my stuff but so so how critical is that if i um yeah, I, I have to write to have somebody who who makes it then pretty and better understandable after that oh man i got this the best question i got the best answer so um here's the deal Without making it sound too complicated, um, I have to explain that those different business models first, and then I'll get into the solution for, for writing. But the three business models are what I call a hybrid, right? Which is between being an affiliate and a vendor where we actually concentrate and focus on email marketing. And so therefore the order form of the offer is not your product. It's someone else's product, but it goes directly from your page that's branded with you utilizing the vendor product on ClickBank. And then we do cross promos. You have affiliates and everything. The only downside to the hybrid is we can't utilize the marketplace because it's not technically a vendor account. All right. So that's the hybrid model. Then the second model is, of course, your own product, you being the vendor. And then I'll get into that in a little second on how to help you write. Then the third model is a service. Now, service is kind of like what I'm proposing on this webinar right now. Is It's, a, it's either, I have one called Dial Jamie. I have one, um, you know, a custom offer uh, service. Um, I have a few different services. A webinar service also is like, uh, like I am with Jamie. Do you remember that one where there was, uh, you know, I would do these webinars twice a week. I've done over 600 of them. And still to this day, we do these, these, uh, webinars where there's a thousand people in the webinar. Um, so those are all different versions of services and you could do those too in different niches. Now back to the vendor model on writing when someone's like, you know, needs, uh, you know, some, some type of, uh, I could say one thing, it's very, very 
awesome solution and it's going to inspire you, I think. It's going to give you some perspective. Um, when I do an offer, the one thing that stresses me out is the copy, right? The front end, like the video, because every second matters. I've put, I've split tested different video sales letters, you know, in rotation, you know, four of them rotating and getting equal amounts of traffic. And you make one little edit or something and then the thing forget it it just falls off and you'll see in the in the notes it's a total loser and you have to just annihilate it because of one little thing that you made so every second in your copy matters it really matters because when you send it out to to distributors and affiliates you know for your launch for instance it's launch day it's like you know it launched at nine in the morning and now you're at noon it's been going for three hours and it's rotating and you look at your numbers the one that is losing, you're like, oh, all right, get rid of it, get rid of it, because those affiliates will get back to you. And if you don't have like five dollars EPC or ten dollars EPC, then what are you going to show to the other affiliates? That to get more affiliates, you show them the numbers that that you know Charles and Joe are are getting. You know, say Charles and Joe are your, you're so happy to have them on your launch. You're so happy to have them as affiliates. So you want to impress them, and. You're, you have competition. They could be promoting someone else and, and their numbers are, might be as good as your numbers and you want to outdo their numbers. So every little second counts. That's why copywriting is, is so, um, so crucial, right? When you're doing something that you love doing and you're in the niche that you know a lot about, it should come natural. Now, when I, when I work with someone on an ebook, it's basically like write the table of contents first, the chapters. And this, this ebook is going to do two things. You know, that, that, that book that you're writing will accomplish two things. It'll give you bullet points for your sales page. So the table of contents and the, the, um, the chapters are your bullet points. Like, so you say, Hey, what's up? My name's Jamie. And this is what I do. Here's what I've done. Here are my, my success stories. Get students who have studied with me. And then it's time for you to know what, what am I offering? Boom, 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 your chapters. Learn how to do this, learn how to do that, learn how to do this, learn how to do that, right? Those are your chapters. So you write those first and then you fill them in like a skeleton. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with copy. Like I have a template, like a skeleton for copy that I trained my copywriter, Chris. He's you gotta see his stuff. He's just off the wall. He has just one liner after one liner. It's just the wittiest, funniest, writing you've ever seen he's like artist at heart that type of thing. he's like my personal copywriter guy he does all the copy for all you guys and so with him the way i trained him because he wasn't a copywriter in the beginning so i said dude i want you to be my copywriter you would you're like you're gonna be the best like this guy back in the day on clickbank he used to do all the, the clickbank launches he was amazing a lot of the the reasons why they the launches were so big was because the copywriter was doing all the the copy for everybody and it's just amazing so i was like his name is Mike. And so I said to Chris, I said, you're going to be the next Mike. So here's how to do copy. And I sent him a skeleton. I said, attention, interest, desire, action. I said, you know, in the, in the interest area, I want you to talk about portfolio, uh, talk about the problems that, that uh, the, the customer might be experiencing that you're going to bring a solution for a little bit later in the copy, et cetera. She gave him the skeleton. So when it comes to writing a book, um, what I was going to get into is after you've done the skeleton, you're filling them in, they're going to solve two things. They're going to give you bullets and you can read it and then have multimedia like in your members area you can have it as audio and then it could be the the template for video but it's not when you do your members area if you're in a niche that you know a lot about it shouldn't be stressful it should come naturally you'd be like look and and what goes to your mind is you be, like you look at the other people on clickbank like half of them are fake you know like they're doing niches they don't know anything about like it's like a weight loss website or something and the person who is doing the the website like you know the person who put together this offer doesn't know anything about weight loss like farmed it all out or outsourced it or whatever got a great copywriter did invested all this money into it and it's number one on clickbank because he invested all this money into it but it's not really like legit it's pretty generic you know what i mean like has great customer service so it's still there but there was no heart and soul to it so if you have heart and soul to it you know that your information is going to be better than most of the products on there. So, I mean, that's what could go through your mind when you're creating a product. It's like, don't stress creating a product. If you're in a niche, like I would, 
I would get stressed if I did uh, a niche that I don't know a lot about. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I was doing the actual product for something, like, can't really think of a lot of products I really don't know a lot about. Like, I've done a lot of niches. But I mean, um, and but you know, there's some niches that I'm not good at myself that I wouldn't do. But I partnered with someone. Like, I did that football coaching website. That was a huge hit. Conversions were insane. But I was smart. I knew that I did it with someone who was an amazing football coach. You know what I mean? And we sold it to every football coach in the country. Um, back in the day, before I learned these things, like, oh, stick with the niche that you know about so you can be passionate about it and people recognize that and they'll buy it. Like, I, I messed around with, like, some recipes. Like, I didn't know yet that you have to add other aspects to the recipes. Like, it's got to be a diabetic recipe or a gluten-free recipe or a cure cancer recipe. It can't just be like, oh, buy some recipes. Because it's not enough, you know, you can get that for free. And then there's not enough need. It's just like a want. So it's not going to work. You got to get the needs, right? And so that was a mistake I made in the beginning. But then, like, once I learned that, I was like, well, I can do any niche, but I'm just going to have to make sure that I get in, involved with someone. Because start, people started to come with, come to me because I'd be posting all my products as, like, the you know affiliate programs. on like, there's this um, forum called eWealth. And then, of course, um, you know, warrior forum and put on, you know, I'm trying to recruit affiliates. People would come to me and they'd be like, one guy came to me. He was like, I'm a drill instructor or I was a drill instructor, um, in the Marines. And I was thinking maybe we could do a, how to prepare for boot camp product. Now I know nothing about that. And it was still even tricky. Like I was doing the customer service and some Marines were like, who are you? You know, they would contact the customer service and be like, who are you? And stuff. And then his name is Matt. So I'd say like, Matt, dude, they're, you got, I got to get you in there. Like, like you got to get me some FAQs or something so I can reply back because like, that's like tricky territory and stuff. You know what I mean? And so he gave me, you know, like worked with him as he was the expert. And the same thing with the football coach. Like when someone cut, hits up customer service and they're like, Hey, I, I love, I did the course, but I just need some clarification as to how like you're going to do that spread offense. If, so and so and so, I'm like, what is this person talking about? And so then I hit up my partner. I'd be like, you have to give me the FAQ so I could just copy and paste the FAQs or like put them there so it'll cut down on the customer service. That type of thing. So again, like if it's your thing, if this is something that you know a lot about, like you, and you have accolades and you have experience and, and and you have proof that that you're really good at it, like you, you degrees or accomplishments, whatever it is, then you'd be fine. It's like. You know, just come, should come naturally. But when it comes to copywriting, it's like so methodical. I mean, you have to, every little word that you say, the first thing that you say has to be perfect. Then the second thing that you say has to be perfect. The third thing you say has to be perfect. And then you watch it a few times. You have to watch it a few times. It's like chemistry. It's like, you know, it's just this exact, you know, the social sociology type of thing, right? And and then you're going to take things out. If something doesn't feel right to you, you take it out and you name that file B, right? And then you take out some more stuff. You, you name that file C. And then you put it up and it's rotating. And then you'll see which ones. And you write notes. You keep a little ledger. Like, you know, I have like 30 different versions of sales videos. I keep like a ledger. And then if I look at now, when I look at the results of the split test, I'll look at it. I'll be like, oh, wow. So B is kicking butt. What is the... What is B about? And I'll look at my notes. That's very important. So you know, like you can learn. And so that's, that's the way I've never had to cancel a launch ever. You know, these, these people who do a launch and day one, it's like sucks or something. Like it's not, it's a flop, right? That's because they're not doing that. Like you should always be able to edit the video or edit the page. Like, so yeah, if you have that split test going, you're self-educating yourself, making sure that, that you know why the thing is that, why that version isn't working, but the other one is working. Like, I mean, and then, and then this is the funniest thing, man, is sometimes the version of the video that wins is the worst one. Like, like, I don't like it. Like, it doesn't have, like, something that I worked hard on or something like that. Like, you know, it'd be like a version, like, you'll, you'll spend all this money, like, you know, uh, like, say, for instance, it has, like, pop in bottles of Cristal or, you know, you're in the Rolls Royce or something like that. Then the version that wins is like a PowerPoint presentation or something. There's like nothing. It's just like a white page and boring and you know what I mean? And so it's, it's, it's 
funny i've seen some crazy stuff man. and then sometimes it's the opposite like like the reason why i started doing all the funny stuff you know like i had one it was like for christmas like santa claus it was like it was like a bad santa and he was just this crazy santa like it was uh, for this wealth in a box and we were, he was just like running through the mall throwing these boxes at people and he had this like pretty girl in the sleigh with him and and like a couple distributors hit me up and they're like, dude, what's up with, what's up with that? I'm not sure if I could promote that. I'm like, promote it. I promise it won the split test. You know, it was like this bad Santa. So, I mean, that's like an example, like the copywriting thing is really um, much more, I would get more stressed out about copywriting than I would about, you know, just, you know, make sure it's organized, make sure your book is organized. But you know, with the book, it's just like chapters and you can look at Kindle books. You can look at other ClickBank products and get an idea of what a good ebook is or what a good product is. And, you know, there's going to be two types of customers always. There's always going to be the customer that says, oh, I already know this. This is basic. And then you're going to have the other one that says this is information overload. So you're going to have the newbie and the advanced person and, and you have to find a good balance between them. But that just comes with the territory. It's like a double-edged sword. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um... Yeah, just write out the co write out the table of contents and then just fill it in and start from the beginning. You know, getting started, the basics, getting started, um, how I got started. Uh, here's a good lesson for everyone. The next one, um, and then remember, these are the bullets. Like, so whatever is going to be enticing the people on the sales page, like whatever they're looking for, mm -hmm. which comes from the market research, right? From you doing your market research of keywords and everything like that, that's going to tell you exactly what to put in the book. You know, make it all congruent from the market research and the keywords of what people are typing into Google into the ebook. I mean, sorry, into the sales page, which is congruent with the ebook or the product or the members area or the audio files. You know, I, I give you an example of what audio files come in. They're like I used to do like dating books and get your ex back and how to survive a divorce, stuff like that. I have a lot of experience with relationships, like had crazy relationships and you know, I'm, kind of good at relationships and it showed customers loved it so with that the product was audio they go jogging and they put it on the ipod back then we had ipods right and they'd listen on the ipod while they're jogging similar to like like i think that's something that you could be doing in your niche it's kind of like the self-help thing you can do with with audio which is good because then all you need to do is speak and you're not looking into a camera and you get self-conscious can like throw you off sometimes so I mean, that's a good example, but you have those formats. You could do ebook, you could do members area, you could do um, you could do all everything, video, audio, ebook, everything. I actually I, I lo really love to make video. I'm um, I'm I'm working sometimes as, as a photographer as well. And um, yeah. And I really also like to make videos. So for me it's like quite natural. Yeah. And um, would you would you say that um if I make this, this sales letters, so um, I make different versions and you put them online or you also, you, you make, um, your team makes also their versions out of it, what they think could be much better or um, how would this launch work? What we love to do is we love to uh, give you kind of like a survey that's like the skeleton. Yeah. So it'll be like kind of like what I showed Chris in the beginning when he started. And then you fill out that survey so that it could be branded and personal and exactly all about you. And then we hand it off to Chris and then Chris will incorporate what you've explained and then I'll make it even better. We have some newbies who don't even want to do that, you know? So you seem like you're an intermediate. You seem like you're, you're, you know, already doing huge things. So, I mean, that's like recipe for just total success. Like, because then we're going to have, be able to, uh, Chris isn't going to have to just guess, you know, but I mean like that's, he's the man when it comes, I mean, he's so much better than, than me when it comes to uh, like rewording things and putting in really cool, you know, because that, that really works. I mean, when people, people won't buy something if it doesn't, if it doesn't seem like there's like millions of dollars behind it, like a big budget behind it. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what he brings to it is with that copy. It's just like new player, you know? Yeah. Nice cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys, as you can see, we really got to take care about anything. Um, maybe you, you, you guys just realize right now why I'm personally uh, just looking for skilled 
guys and, and people with life experience because that's 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 an awesome um, um, example of what exactly Karim and Jamie are talking about. Uh, if Jamie has his, his guy Chris uh, uh, this this kind of survey or may you name it, and we can handle that to you. And if you if you have skills and life experience and and, and it's it's your passion to write this stuff down just to let's say just to answer questions from this starter survey to to build up this the, the sales letter uh i mean actually nothing can happen i guess right it's like i i made some sales trainings with uh renee or with jeff who is here <coughs> uh the dealers um yeah you have to train it and it has your passion and as jamie said uh, as soon as you have the table of content to write, which everyone here knows, I have no idea about writing. I'm worst writer ever, but give me a phone and I can close everyone, right? And that's exactly the same thing because I just know how to uh, extract the solution which fits exactly to the problem, to the person I talk with. And the table of content in a, in a text letter is. is well, kind of the same thing, right? You, you you push out with the bullet points exactly the problems or the needs or or <clears throat> the pain or whatever from from the guy who's reading it, and, and you will follow um, this kind of story while you're scrolling because you say, um, yeah. Oh yeah, you just address the people first, then you get the bullet points, then you say the problem, you say them why you, they can't solve the problem, all that stuff, you know, I have a product about that in German. And then what happened is you take the reader with to your journey, right? Where this reader is finding themselves, right? So, oh yes, that's true, yes, that's me, yes, that's exactly my problem. Yeah, oh yes, yes, I can, I can feel with that, it's emotional. Um, as you can see, we will help you with anything. And here again, why I want to work with you guys, or why I really, I do not want to push you to this year. But if you do it once, it means probably nothing. If you do it twice, or third, or fourth, or five, or six times, it, make, it makes a huge difference. Um, that's why I, I just want to work with you guys for, for over a year at least, because I, as uh, Rene was here um, on my table for five days and he made 100 calls a day. That's a kind of different uh, if you just want to make um, one, one, one call or five calls a day and you think, oh man, it doesn't work. You have, you have, to, you have to do this stuff all day, every day, all day, every day. Um, Again, if you see the whole process while working with us, one time you, you have your product in the marketplace and it will work. The, the second time you will realize how it really works. The third time you will realize, oh, I forgot this in the first place. And the fifth or the sixth time, uh, we actually know each other better and you can handle that by yourself. Um, that's exactly what I want to go for. And my part in this case is just I'm a salesperson. I can help you with anything. I, I, I'm the third party in this game. I will work with Jamie. I will work with his team with the graphical stuff. And again, if you guys have some uh, some high ticket stuff, you want to close on, 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 on the phone or whatever, decide your VSL with, with upsells or whatever, because again, you get all this information from every buyer, from affiliates, from whatever, with, with Jamie's work. And uh, if you decide to make, uh, let's say, Karim, uh, you make some high-class event in, I have no idea, Hawaii for uh, $45,000 for five days for six people, um, I, just, I just get an idea. You can, you can mail your list to actually uh, an opt-in page where they can get some more information. And you have me and actually Renee and my whole team as closers to make sure you have the right people on this place, right? So um, that's also this thing is not possible just because of one website. And the reason why is just because we do, we do not know each other enough that I can handle it. 
And what, one question, Jamie, that, that, that people ask me a lot of times is, hey, um, Renee can, can, can also uh, <coughs> say that, uh, they have so many ideas to realize. So they are kind of uh, information overload. You know, we can make this, can we make this, can we make that? Uh, I guess maybe you can explain in a short, in a nutshell, how is the workflow as soon as you as soon as you get pre-qualified or qualified for me and you will get the first touch with these people what happened with the first call or what what will you do with this guys can you can you explain that probably yeah i could do that um using uh, a newbie and an intermediate as two different examples so they're different, yeah. two different approaches um i've had a lot of experience with newbies you know, a lot of people have it. You know, a lot of people do qualify, um, but I just, I kind of, I never, uh, I, I, I never disliked it. In fact, I really enjoyed it, right? But they keep you on your toes. Newbies keep you on your toes because newbies are skeptical. And so, you know, I've, I've done that. I never quit doing that. I still, to this day, you know, I did a, a mastermind um, at my house with newbies who are very skeptical for a week. And we have it all on camera, as you've seen. Now those were, those were newbies and with newbies, they've, they've spent money elsewhere and they've been scammed even. And then they came to my house after that. So they're gonna keep you on your toes. And you're going to also, as an instructor and as a producer, you're also going to have to uh, you're, you're gonna it's, it's you have to be strong and you have to out you have to assess exactly how uh, how you can make that happen for for someone like that and so you think to yourself All right I've got you know what have we've got what have we've got that we can actually work with here and so in that video you could see it's like by day two or day three it's made itself clear you know after getting rid of all of the stuff that they have brought all of the baggage that they've brought like oh i'm working with this i want to get this investment working or i want to you know I, I i'm interested in doing internet marketing niche that might not even be the niche that is right for them right but with an intermediate or like with an advanced person you're going to want to um uh, you're going to want to just you know like assess exactly the numbers or what's not working or what is working it could be a bit easier, like you make progress a little bit faster. But the one, the one aspect that is really important is just making sure that, you know, I don't make the, the ultimate decisions for someone so that later on down the road, like three weeks later, it's not something that the person is going to enjoy doing or, or operating, you know, like, uh, and so that way you kind of have to be a profit or whatnot, you know, looking at the right word, someone looking in the future, um, you know, being able to tell the future kind of like where we're going to be three weeks from now, four weeks from now, and if the person is going to enjoy doing it, like enjoy the customer service aspect of it, you know, having like thousands of customers purchasing your products and then you're getting a whole bunch of customer service questions or like if you're having to do a webinar once a week and you don't enjoy doing webinars or if it's something that you're feeling like, wow, I'm really like, I'm low on the proof aspect of it. Or like the conversions aren't really good because you know what heck we don't really have any really good like accolades or really testimonials so you want to like assess possible problems ahead of time and stuff like that and that's kind of what holds a lot of people back i notice is that you know people are fearful that they they're not going to have a quality product or something like that but i'm telling you even with the in that week where i did the mastermind these were people who had never made a dime online but towards the towards day three or whatnot, working with someone who had multiple black belts and was an instructor in martial arts and had instructed movie stars, and I didn't know this, and the, the poor guy was working in the internet marketing niche with no proof, no accolades, nothing done in the internet marketing niche. And so I said, all right, now it's, it's wrong niche, martial arts niche for you, buddy. You know, <laughs> we're doing the defense, you know, self defense. And the coach he had before, you know, he spent all this money on the coach he had before. He's got him in the internet marketing niche. He knew nothing about it. He's getting all, all 
you know, he's not passionate about it, doesn't know what he's talking about. And so that's something that, that needs to happen. You know, you have to understand what person someone is passionate about. Self-defense is a freaking awesome niche. You can make a ton of money in it. And then, um, you know, Mrs. T, the other woman, she was a cook. And she's a, she's a really good cook. So we were able to do like a recipe website. And then, um, you know, Wild Man, he was a, he was a uh, uh, programmer for E-Trade. So with that, it was interesting. It wasn't like, he wasn't, he didn't really have like any passions or whatnot, anything that was like, that we could put on ClickBank that was in a certain niche, but he had skills. So what we did with him was we were able to just right away jump into um, uh, service orientated uh, business, like him fulfilling a service and doing SEO work for companies, opening up an agency and doing SEO using live video on YouTube, which you know is, you know, I don't know if you, you guys know this, but you get number one on YouTube really quickly by doing live videos in, in a certain way. And then, um, and then my other friend, uh, you know, my other client who became a friend of mine is a, uh, we did survival. So we had those four niches, you know, and then he, by day two or day three, you know, seven days, so it, it worked that way. You know, we have four stages. We have the market research. We have the production. We have the, and then we have the traffic state. You know, when we go through these, those stages, by day two or day three, we knew all of those niches. Everyone had their niche. In it. And so that's an example. And that's an example of some, with, which is more difficult, much more difficult than working with someone like you or someone with like all you guys. Because, I mean, just think about what that, what that's like, you know, dealing with not only someone who's, you got to start from the ground up and you've got to make like serious, serious, um, you know, uh, results very, very quickly. You know what I mean? To make sure that, that my customers are satisfied. Right. And so it's very, very difficult because on top of all that, they're skeptical, you know, like they've been ripped off before. So it's like, that's, that's like from the school that I come from is just like, boom, 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 get results, get results, get results. You know what I mean? So it's someone who's like looking to take their revenue from like 50,000 a month to a million a month or whatnot. Um, you know, it's all algebra to me. I look at like what we're not tapping into yet. You know, what, you know, uh, what, what is giving us like that, that ceiling and then just busting through the ceiling, like, you know, a launch like a rocket, you know what I mean? Okay, uh, thanks for explanation. We have a question from Thomas. Is stitching some kind of niche? Ditching the niche? Stitching, you can read it in the chat, stitching. Like stitching it together? <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Thomas, you want to explain? Stitching, oh, like, like yarn, like yarn? I don't know. To Thomas, where are you? Thomas, please hold your hand up if you ask this question. So, okay, I will. Stitching. Okay, so Thomas, please talk. Uh, can we? Yep. Yeah, what's up, man? Um, uh, I don't know if, it's, if it was the uh, right word. I, I, it was uh, sewing, uh, some sort of sewing machine. Doing posters, doing bags. You know what? You sounds like Leo sounds like Russian in a in a rocket spaceship, Thomas. What? Uh, you like, talk. Uh, you talk. You talk about physical products or stitching. Like bags? Yeah. yeah, stitching on bags or stuff like that. Or what? Yeah, yeah. But, um, for clothes or uh, even um, some sort of house stitch or to do I don't know. <laughs> like bags. Um I I don't know man, I'll tell you that that a friend of mine is killing it with Instagram posting pictures of the physical product and then selling, you know, e com style. I'll tell you one thing, the product that he posts does well on its own as a picture. So that's, that's what, that, that's, I think what the model is, is like, if you've got, for instance, you want to sell guns, 
right? You could post a picture of a gun on Instagram and then you could sell accessories for that gun. You know, you could sell jewelry. You could post a picture of a diamond ring and it gets a million, you know, it's beautiful. It gets like a whole bunch of likes and then you sell that, that jewelry. But if it's like a bag, might not get a lot of likes unless it's like a really awesome bag. But that's, that's, the, that's the algebra, that's the key, is find some freaking ex amazing photos of, of um, really, really good, really, really good examples of that product that you're selling. But, you know, that's just an example. I mean, that's something that I recently have seen. It's kind of like mind boggling. It keeps blowing my mind. He's a guy I met um, in my town. I went to the supermarket and he says, oh, are you Jamie Lewis? And I said, yeah. He's like, oh man, I've been studying your stuff forever. It's good to meet you. Um, and then I, I started to hang with him, you know, he's talented, he's killing it. He's got this Instagram and just makes money with Instagram and then e com stores. That's how he does it. He sells the, you know, I didn't mention his exact niche out of respect for him, you know, not leaking his secrets or anything, but that's like the model. And I mean, as you know, there's probably a million different products that sell that way, especially like in the survival niche, like what I was talking about, like guns or guns, uh, accessories, like maybe rifle scope or something like that. You, know, you post something like that on Instagram, like look at Dan Bilzerian. You know what I mean? I don't know if you ever seen his stuff, but he, he posts guns and girls all day. Just you know, I don't know. I don't even know if he isn't like monetized or whatnot. I saw him. He promoted Rich Jerk though. Do you guys see that? Yeah, I know him. <laughs> yeah, Dan Bilzerian. He promoted Rich Jerk, my boy Kelly. Yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and of course, there were a lot of people in his thread, they were like, oh, this looks like a scam or something like that. Because it's like, when you promote marketing stuff, you know, on the side of a bus, like a banner on a bus or like a billboard or something, like the general population is used to, like when they hear about that stuff, they're immediate, their minds are immediately going to go to like the casino, the lottery, Nigeria, you know, like Nigerian fishing scam, stuff like that. And so people don't understand that, like what we're doing is actually like, SEO, um, so social media, um, you know, uh, funnels, putting together websites, you know what I mean? Like it's an actual physical technical thing. But yeah. like, um, I think that, I mean, I don't know if that's exactly the niche you were regarding, Thomas, but like, uh, you know, when it comes to physical products, oh, I see here, I've got some relatives that are stuck to the sewing machine 24 seven. Very interesting. Do you know of that niche? Sewing? Sewing? Yeah, I mean, I sew. Sewing now, where my mind goes with that is like, what can we mix with that? What can you... Well, I would say sewing is a lost art, and a lot of women could... I mean, every housewife should know have a sewing machine to sew if they want to like, be self-sufficient. But what is a more monetary you way to... You need to teach how to sew, because it's but, lost, but But lost better art. than just teaching how to sew. Like, remember what I was talking about, about recipes, and how just recipes by themselves don't really work, because you could find it for free? But the minute that you say, hey, do you have celiac disease... I mean, this is bad. Don't do this unless you're a doctor or less and you have, you know what I mean? But the minute you say that, it's like, hey, get recipes if you want to be gluten-free. Boom. Then the chemistry, it's like when you mix like um, two chemicals together and they explode. Boom. Now you got it. So now that was the missing link is like and the same thing with like diabetic cooking. Like if you're like, hey, learn how to do these cook recipes and, you know, here's some recipes. Everyone's like, oh, whatever, I'm not going to pay $20 for that. I can get that for free. But if you make it special and you add in that, that element, like, oh, this is for, for people with diabetes, oh. boom, and you partner with a doctor so that, you know, Gun. everything is legit. Wow. But with sewing, you got to think about that. Like, what is a way that you can make it even more powerful and more – so you can get those conversions just to make sure that people aren't going to say that. They're not going to be like – you know, hey, I can get that for free. I'm not paying twenty dollars for this. You see what I'm saying? Not business to business. Yo, yeah, yeah, it's that's like a good not, idea. You teach a nonprofit four hundred ninety-seven dollars how to take a nonprofit. That's a good idea. So here's an idea for you, brother. You could do how to how to how to build a business sewing, like sewing, you know, uh, garments, you know, doing clothes, like uh, how to. I don't want to say that word, you know, like the. Like a, it's a nonprofit. 
created a, a, a teaching tradition yeah, like so that the, teenagers could sew. So like, like all the schools, like the uh, school systems, they need a uh, fundraiser. So if you teach the kids how to sew or the old people in the community to sew and they can sew things to sell or donate and like get, collect donations for, it's just a system. You teach nonprofits how to make profit. Exactly, so do you see what I'm saying? It's not just how to sew. It's how to Make do this eyes. with sewing. You see what I'm saying? So then the, the idea is, is that when you advertise this on Facebook or wherever your affiliates, you instruct your affiliates to not only send sewing to people who are interested in sewing to your site, but also people who are interested in building, doing clothes, like all the t-shirt, you know, the Teespring. You ever seen Teespring? Like the yeah. t how people sell T-shirts on, on Facebook? You know, like the moms, like the, t the t shirts for moms and stuff. So you have all of those people buying what you're selling, which is like, hey, build a business as a, um, you know, a, a clothes maker. What do you call those? What, a, a warehouse, um, a manufacturer. You know, like, so how to become your own manufacturer and sell clothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Perfect. So awesome, guys. Uh, as you can maybe imagine, uh, there will be there. There is a lot of um, yeah, a lot of brain tool. If you guys would work with uh, Jamie and the whole team and me with all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I that, think there was great questions that you guys had. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what what we do, or or what Jamie will do with you guys, or with everyone who is watching this. We will always find find a way uh, out of the box to sell stuff. Always, because that's our fucking job. Well, say it how it is, right? And <clears throat> you can imagine how how this how this this um, this partnership will work, right? So we get really serious in that stuff, and I, I appreciate every, all you guys for your time. And if you have any question, um, please let us know. Uh, write it in the chat. Uh, put your hands up and ask questions. That's why we are here. Uh, I guess we have 15 minutes left. Um, actually, are you excited so far? Please, are you excited so far? Right? Make some noise for us. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I, re I, really, um, I really want to say, for me, this whole project, again, is much more than just make money. Okay, I talked with a few guys um, for, with you, and people always ask me a question Hey, Mark, why you don't spend your money to some charity stuff? And um, I guess I can help more people on planet Earth with the partnership from Jamie if, if Jamie and me uh, teamed up and help actually uh, you, Karim, or uh, Jörn, or even Alex, or Ralph, or wherever who is watching this can produce. A product out of your knowledge and share it to the world and maybe we can help millions of people with your knowledge uh, that's why we teamed up that's why we want to work with you. and again if you have we will do anything to make this shit happen right we will find something that you're passionate about we will we will work it out until it works until it works and then we we, we make the next project right? and that's what we want to do Hope you agree with that. I would say I, I got to uh, add something in there. Um, in the initial email, once I send it out, once you guys are in and you sign up, I'm going to send out an email and I'm going to CC my team. I initiate it and say welcome. And I have a little video there. I'm going to send a little video, uh, just go over the basics. But what's very important is I'm going to give you kind of like a menu. Like it's similar to like when you go out to dinner and, you, and the waiter gives you a menu. That menu is gonna ask you what resources you'd like from us. Like if you would like that template for the copy, if you'd like the template for the ebook, if you want, and then what business models do you, you wanna do? You might not even want to do an ebook. You want to, might just wanna focus on email marketing, getting leads, doing it faster. That has to do with your time frame. Like if you'd like to, to build a list in two weeks, then we would do the hybrid. If you want to do more of a long-term project where you want affiliates and you want to utilize the marketplace, then that will be a, that will be the vendor model. So in that initial menu, I'm going to say, which resources do you want? And you'll say, guys, I want the template 
for the copy. I want to do my own copy um, or I want Chris to do the copy and we want to custom tailor it for you so that, that you, you know, I mean, it's very, it's no sweat, you know, it's, it's totally customized for you and what you want to do so that, that, you know, four weeks, eight weeks from now, um, six months from now, you're in, you're operating in, in at the capacity that you wanted to operate in. And, you know, it's, it's a great testimonial for me to, I want to, I want my proteges to, uh, you know, represent, you know, represent the model that we that we do over here, you know, to the, to the, uh, uh, you know, I want to do it to the best of my ability. And so that's why it's important. I'm going to send out that menu so that you guys can let us know exactly what resources are right for you. Nope. That's exactly what we do with you. Kari, I put you, wait a moment, wait, wait, wait. And you're in. Yeah. So, um, so you think six weeks will be enough to make like a first product when I hear it like that? Yeah, six, uh, so usually uh, it's, it's two, it's usually two to three weeks for a hybrid. And it's usually a month for, for a, you know, if you want to, members area with a with an ebook and then plug it in so that's the you know you can see kind of how that happens too it's like going to be two weeks to do market research branding create graphics you know create the offer and then there's another two weeks if we want to um, you know if we want to actually utilize the marketplace yeah and then that's you know but what we keep the thread open and i mean even like six months down the road you might want to be communicating through the thread and and edit my assistant Ed is at your service pretty much. I mean, it could be a year from now, that thread will be open. Sometimes we even create new threads if it gets beyond a hundred replies or whatnot, you know? But um, that's usually the time frame for the offer. And then, you know, it can get a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more involved, like um, things that hold it up to are like, if you want different revisions, you know, if the graphics come and you're like, no, I actually, I changed my mind or something like that. That's all good. We, we keep it pretty much open. Um, we've never had a problem with too many revisions. Usually we get it right on the second try or whatnot if there is a or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much the time for you. So and one, one more question is, um, um, the beginning you said, now there's a possibility to work, to work one year with you or several years, except mm -hmm. this would be something I would be excited to work like long, long term with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Um, but like money wise, um, I also have a friend and he said like, oh, I, I don't have 20K um, right now. So yeah. is there a possibility to, to start to work with you guys maybe for 10K or something like that? So like for like first a shorter period and then when revenue comes to scale up? Yeah, I mean, that would be, um, that would be, uh, phone consultations like where you and me are working on more of a personal level then you know you of course would be doing the offer as well so we'd be the, doing the offer and then we'd be communicating um, on a more personal level um, I guess that the actual it's not a problem but um, you guys have to know this is this is a, this is personal stuff right so we have we have resources, we have a human resource. So Jamie has um, 12 hours a day, actually six, I have no idea about. Or no, no, Jamie has, I guess, 30 hours a day. He, this guy's never sleeping, right? <laughs> but yeah, but the, the thing is, the thing is, um, a, a whole, you know it, Kari, you know? You have actually uh, some kind of um, classes where you have 20 people in it. And I knew from 20 years experience, from personal coachings, I personally can handle not more than 15 to 20 people at one time. And 20 people, personal coaching in 20 different projects is massive. So it, it, it burned my brain out. Yeah. That's, that's what my experience is. So the reason why I say six months or one year is to keep the continuity. Uh, because uh, sure, we can handle um, this, this three-month offers all day long. But the problem, problem is 
I like to work one year or two years or five years or whatever, but the minimum of one year because I want to know you. I, I want to work with you in long term. And if someone books one year and another one books three months and after three months um, or in the middle of this three month period, someone books another year, you're out. You know what I mean? Because, because it's just, it's just we can't handle it. We, we we probably could, but I want to have high quality stuff. And my or Jamie's goal is not to just realize one pro project. Our goal is, as Jamie said, to 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 put in the market, to um, uh, repack it, uh, repack it, make a repackage, or uh, put some information more in it. Uh, reloaded stuff or whatever it will be or a complete new project and the workflow is much more smoother for every one of us if we produce one product then the second and the third is much more smoother just because everyone uh, knows each other better we can handle even these these uh, one month package or or these website packages for two thousand dollars it's not a problem but yeah, I, I just want to have this high quality stuff. Right? Yeah, I, I really, I, I go overboard too, of course. I was just explaining to Mark, like with my current clients, um, I don't just do one hour a week. We do a whole bunch of calls that are like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. And a lot of the reason for that is that when I give a to-do list, like when we're working at that capacity, I'll be emailing you a to-do list when we talk on the phone. So we talk on the phone for 10 minutes, for instance, one time, and I'll say, here's a to-do list. And some my clients, a lot of the time, will get the to-do list done very quickly, and then we're going to have to do a new to-do list, you know? <laughs> so we're not going to wait a week to have another call. And so that's why, you know, it is, um, you know, it is, it is, it is like, exciting to work with someone who's really serious and wants to do it for a, a longer period of time of course you know but I do go I do go overboard I get I got pretty passionate about it and then of course like um, you know it's it's even more exciting and electrifying or whatnot when there's a client who is kicking butt and gets things done really quickly and it keeps me on my toes and then of course um, you know we get to we get we get a lot of work done in a smaller amount of time etc you know but um, there really is no end to what you can do online or, you know, nowadays there's all these other platforms and all these other, um, you know, uh, outlets to selling your, your intellectual property, you know? So it's, um, yeah, I would say that's, that's like where our, our, our mindset is at, you know what I mean? Like, and I, I think the mindset, you know, we got to start thinking of mindset brands for you. I mean, was it, was it, is that really your, is that your brand, Mr. Mindset? It, it's the direction, your yeah, mindset and um, spirituality, business spirit. So that's like the, the nice. bit, yeah. And I, yeah, okay. that's where I really that, understand that domain, <laughs> that domain taken. I don't know. Uh, wait and the domain is gone. <laughs> M R or M I S T R is what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, wait a moment. You're, do you have a question? I see you raise your hand. Jörn? Uh, hi. hi, guys. I, I just want to say hello to the community. And hey. yeah, really appreciate it. I'm in the game. And yeah, there he is. Hey, Jamie. What's up, uh, man? That's, I'm fine. Um, what, what I just want to say is, um, for me, it was, wasn't a question of money. It was a question of knowledge. And I had the feeling that, uh, that I have the chance to, to make something big with such big uh, global player like Mark and you are, Jamie. And, um, it's not the short term. I, I really believe in the, the long term. So, uh, build a, build build something new outside my comfort zone, and that's this is what I'm really feeling at at the moment, and that's what I'm that's why I'm doing this. So, yeah, I really appreciate it, and uh, thank you 
that I'm in the game. Yeah, no problem, man. Like it's good to see you on the Saturday too. How's the how's the to do list going? Yeah, hopefully he will get the shit done. That's the man right there. Hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, it's a crazy, it's an awesome project we're doing. Yeah. So okay, uh, is are there any more questions? Probably you have to ask, or can we sign the contract right now? Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah. Well, as you know, guys, I will call every one of you. Please put your if, – if your smartphone is on, you will have me on the phone in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is only one way to not to call me again and hung up on me is not the one. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> now listen, no, as you guys can see, we are serious, we're just normal game players here and we want to just help people to get shit done. If you have any products to know uh, to, to produce, we'll help you. Jamie and this whole team will help you. I will help you. Um, and as you, again, as you can see, um, I, I, really, I really will to get 100% transparency transparency in this project that's why I do this stuff like here that's why we record this stuff because we do not just sell here video courses and how to lists and mail stuff and this and that so you actually are in, in personal contact with every one of us right and I guess yeah I, we can't do more for for you guys who are watching this. We can't do more than give you that offer we have to deliver to the market or actually to you. And one more thing, probably. I talk with a lot of people who have so many skills, who have so so great life experience, and a lot of them have the same question. They say to me, "Hey, Mark." Um, I, ha I have overcome this problem, I had this, I have that, but I have no degree. I, I wasn't at school, I, I wasn't at university, and I do not know uh, if people would like what I have to tell them. Uh, my answer is always the same, it's always the same. The internet gives a fuck if you have a degree or if you, if you dropped out of school or whatever, the internet gives a fuck. If you search for a solution to your problem and you will find it on the internet, you will never ask if this solution is um, written or designed from someone with a degree or not. The, the only thing that counts is, I want to have a solution to my problem in the fastest time humanly possible. And if you have kids, maybe my, my, my kid uh, Jonas, if he has a problem with a game, he's a gamer, and if he stops on a level, what is he? What is he doing? She, she, he will put in the name of the game and the level to YouTube, and he will watch a five-minute video how he can overcome this level. He never asks for a name. He never asks for the company. Nothing. It do, it doesn't really matter. And what I will say with them with this is. Don't be scared. If you have life experience and if you have something you can help people or, or you have skills and everyone has a skill or life experience, you have the option, the chance and the opportunity to help other peoples around the globe to overcome this problem. And the bonus is you will get paid for it, right? And that's what we want to help you to, to realize or to build this product out of your life experience skill, put it in the marketplace, share it with the world, people will be happy and will pay you for that. Well said, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. This is fun. Yeah, let's do this, right? Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, we talked around uh, 16 minutes for Every question you will find around this video somewhere, a button where you can fill in a form, you will find my or Renee's uh, phone number. Just call us, text us, write me a message on Facebook, and let's make schedule appointments and get shit done, right? Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a great day, evening, morning, wherever you are watching this video. Thanks a lot, Karin. Thanks a lot, Jamie, for your time. I really appreciate that. 
thanks for everyone who is here this evening. And um, yeah, thanks for your trust. Have a great day. Cheers. Later on, everyone.